Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a very interesting equation. Why is it interesting? Because when we talk about the limit, you're going to realize that this kind of approaches an interesting number, a very special number. And also, one thing that makes this equation interesting is, like, wouldn't it be nice if we had the following? 1 plus 1 over x to the power x equals 1 plus 1 over 6 to the power 6. And you're like, Come on, this is way too easy, right? Obviously, x equals 6. You can directly correspond, one-to-one -one correspondence. Great. We still have to look for other solutions if there are any, but anyways, this would be super-duper simple. But unfortunately, that's not the case. But don't worry about it. We can handle it. Let's go ahead and manipulate our expression so that it becomes something easier to work with. So here's what I'm going to do. How can we manipulate this? I could ln both sides, but I think that'll be a little messy. One thing I want you to notice, that the exponent is one more than the denominator. So we have x plus 1, and we have x. Notice that? Great. So now, that is going to be our key to the solution. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to manipulate the right-hand side, because that's numerical. Don't mess with the left-hand side. First of all, 1 plus 1 over 6 is 7 over 6, I think, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, here's what we're going to do. Notice that... The denominator is 6 on the right-hand side, and the power is 6. So we have to change that so that the exponent is 1 more than the denominator. And I can do something by flipping. How, how do I flip it? Just the reciprocal, and of course that brings in a negative exponent. We still need a negative number at the bottom because you want the exponent to be 1 more than the denominator, remember? But I can do the following. Look, I can just write the 6 over 7 as... 1 minus 1 over 7, because it's less than 1. That is to the power negative 6. And now we have the negative 7. I can obviously write this as follows. 1 plus 1 over x to the power x plus 1 equals 1 plus 1 over negative 7. And that is raised to the power negative 6. And of course, you can also write the negative 6 as negative 7 plus 1 to see better what's going on. What is going on here? Well, this is what's going on. x equals negative 7. I'm not saying that's the only solution, but I'm just saying that x equals negative 7 works. Awesome. At least I found a single solution, so we're happy. Now, a million dollar question, or the million dollar question is, are there any other solutions? So let's go ahead and take a look at this equation from a couple different perspectives. I want to take the limit as x approaches infinity and negative infinity, and I also want to uh, show you the graph of this function, which is very interesting in my opinion. I hope you agree with me on that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the limits. Limit as x approaches infinity of 1 plus 1 over x to the power x plus 1. By the way, this can be broken down. You are probably familiar with this limit, 1 plus 1 over x to the power x as x approaches infinity. This is equal to the Euler's number, right? The limit is Euler's number, which is e. 2.7 something. I only know a single digit. Sometimes people ask, how many digits of pi did you memorize? And I always say two. 3.14. That's uh, what I memorize because that's all I need. Anyways, for E, I only memorize one digit and that is 7.7. .7. Anyway, so that limit is E, but is this a different limit? What do you think? What's your opinion? Let's take some guesses. All right. If you said it's going to be the same limit, you're right. Why? Because if you break down this, you're going to realize something fairly interesting. I call everything interesting, by the way. It's like he's over, uh, overly. Anyways, whatever. I just couldn't come up with the word. So notice that as x approaches infinity, this approach is 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. So we don't really care about this. Come on, that's just a 1. So it's going to be the same as this one. So this limit is E, Euler's number. What about as x approaches negative infinity? That's going to be the same. Okay? It doesn't matter. And you can easily show that. That's not too hard to do. But now, what happens if we set f of x equal to this function? 1 plus 1 over x to the power x plus 1. Now, if x is positive, you're going to realize something interesting here. Then f of x is also going to be positive. Now, what happens if x is negative, right? Well, here's the thing. If x is negative and obviously think about it like a negative 1 million, the base is going to approach 1. So it's going to get 
smaller, right? It's going to get smaller and smaller. Well, actually, it's not going to get smaller. Anyways, so here's the thing. I want to show you the graph. I can't wait. So here's what the graph looks like. And hopefully you'll get a better idea when you see the graph of it. Okay, so that's kind of like an interesting graph. The pink one is the graph of 1 plus 1 over x to the power x plus 1. I don't know why I wrote 1 plus x, by the way. No idea. But uh, the horizontal line y equals 7 over 6 to the power 6, by the way, it's 2.5. Notice that 1 point something raised to a higher power can actually become very, very large. Anyways, they only intersect at 1 point. Now, the reason for that is as x approaches infinity, our y values are going to approach, as you know, e. But they'll never intersect uh, the line y equals 2.5 because that is less than e. You see that? E is 2.7, right? Remember, we only memorize one digit. So they'll never intersect. That's kind of like a, I, I shouldn't say that's a horizontal asymptote, but horizontal asymptote is actually above this line. So there's no way it's going to intersect. And on the left-hand side, it's also going to be like pretty consistent. It's going to, our graph is kind of to the left. It's kind of increasing, not increasing, it's decreasing. But if you go the other way around in the opposite direction, you see that it's going to intersect the horizontal line at a single point. And that is going to be at negative 7. That's going to be the only solution we get. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.